Good morning all, welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone is doing really well today. Um, uh, right, so what I've got on um, plan for today, which is my picking and packing. I've um, got nine orders from yesterday, so I'll quickly like um, pick those up and uh, I'll give you a rundown of what I actually sold. Um, I'm then meeting um, a good friend for breakfast, so it's a little bit of a, a change for me. Um, so then obviously it's outsourcing again. Um, so it's another day of like getting stuff. I've done my listings, um, so they're all up, uh, 15 today, that all went live. Um, hopefully, um, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, but let's get on with it, shall we? Right, so this is actually where I do my picking and packing, um, single garage. As you can see on here, it's a bit dingy today. So what I do have, I've got one of these. Okay, so I have got some lights up the top here. So it's all on a remote control. So let's turn those on. And see, so it just gives me a bit more light in here. Right, so let's get on with the um, picking and packing. The first one, which is a pair of chinos by Maya. 10903. Right, so these are a pair of Mayachinos. They are the brand new ones as well. So yeah, it's still got the tags on them. Sold pretty fast. Get those up so this is going every uh, then I've got a coat so this one here is by religion it's kind of like a trench coat so I should take the skew number out So this one here was actually kept um, in a separate area because it is a, like a coat and it's a little bit harder to actually fit into my box system. So I've actually got it on a rail. Making sure we put in, thank you, leaflet. This one's actually going with Yodel just because it's a little bit heavier. A bit cheaper with Yodel as well for, uh, for slightly bigger packages. Right next, we've got a shirt, Claudio Lugli 10526. Claudio Lugli. Let's go straight in. Think. So this one is going to the Highlands of Scotland. Um, so it's quite expensive to actually send. So I'm going to send that through with um, Royal Mail. So tracked 48. Right, pair of trousers 9187 by 5.11. pair of heavy duty kind of military style trousers these ones had a bit of a um, issue yesterday with the parcels um, where I normally drop them off they um, their scanner was broken but thankfully because I actually dealt with it early in the morning I found another place to actually send them Right, so that one there is going to Northern Ireland. So that one there is going with Yodor as well. Then we've got a pair of jeans, Henry Lloyd. Oh, 
five. That little logo on there. After that, we have another pair of jeans. Uh, real, I think these, 8763. It's like the older one, this one. They have grey, skinny jeans, these ones. Another shirt straight after that. So James Mead shirt. Kind of a country style style this one. Polo shirt by Hackett. One one oh nine five. So you can see like big Hackett spell out on that one. run after that which is a jumper by Tommy Hilfiger 好，那这样子，我们就结束了。那这样子，我们就结束了。那这样子，我们就结束了。那这样子，我们就结束了。那这样子，我们就结束了。那这样子，我们就结束了。那这样子，我们就结束了。那这样子，我们就结束了。那这
As for the title, uh, 10 bolos. So I picked up um, a good amount. I think I picked up about 21, 22 items today. But I'm going to show you 10 of my bolos or be out on the lookouts just so you can like keep an eye if you do like spot them it's a good idea to actually pick them up because uh, there is uh, some good money in them you're not always going to pick up all of these but if you just like have them in the back of your mind it's just worth um keeping your eyes peeled uh, i'm going to start off with some of the normal ones uh, i still think these are like pretty good quality and i'll try and run through what i've got so the first item i picked up which is this a jacket come hoodie uh, this is a woman's one actually and it's uh, by jack wolfskin you can tell thankfully with these ones um, it does tell you just inside whether it's a man's or a woman's so just in there um, and i paid six pound for that one next we've got a t-shirt so i picked up a couple of like t-shirts so this WWE, it's a fairly modern one, Rey Mysterio, and oh, that's the tag, and paid £5 for that. Another WWE one, RKO. I need to like and double check on this. I'm not 100% sure on that one, but I'll do my checks. Right, pair of jeans. All right, so these are a pair of G-Star Raw. They've got stretch on it as well, big size. They're the 3301s. So you can actually tell the model just on there as well. Slim fit. Nice and, yeah, like kind of a good bit of stretch to it as well. Right, we've also got polo shirt. This is got some nice embroidered bits. So it's Hackett and it is new with tags. So it's still got its tags on there. Paid £6 for that. So it's a nice one. Right, then we've got another polo shirt. This one is golfing one by Footjoy. So definitely the ones that command a little bit more if they've got the embroidered logo on the collar as well. And this is a size medium. And I think I paid off the top of my head, two pound for this one. Yeah, no take on there, but yeah, definitely paid two pound because I've got another one just here so potentially not quite as valuable because it doesn't actually have the logo on the collar but still it's got embroidered on the back and that is another medium as well and yeah paid two pound for that all right we've also got this was a bit different actually um right this is a nice heavy jumper first and foremost so West Ham, so football one in a nice claret colour, but it's also a buffila. So it's in a large, nice, good, big size. Needs a bit of a debobble and acrylic and wool, embroidered top on there. That should actually go like quite well, actually. Right, then we've got a kind of like a jacket, so a micro grid jacket. This is by Rohan. I do like picking up the Rohan stuff. Full zip on it as well. And it's got zip pocket as well. So yeah, this should do well. And we've got, this is more nostalgia for me. Uh, I don't think it's vintage well. Uh, the, Tags don't indicate it's vintage at all, but this is a big hoodie. So it's a nice red thing, but the bit that caught my eye was that logo. So that's Carter, the Unstoppable Sex Machine. And that was a band in the, I want to say late 90s, early 
2000s. Um, but I'll do a bit more saying anything like band related and, and stuff that had a bit of a following is always worth having a look at. What did I pay for that? I paid eight pounds for that one. All right, we've got a pair of trousers. So these are, these are deadly, is a vintage. These are Hackett. But more importantly, they're actually like moleskin. So they're super, super soft. Really hunting kind of style. Kind of buttons that all the way up. Not particularly big waist, but I don't think that should have too much of an issue. And then we have a shirt. Quite a bright shirt, this one. Normally, like if it's a slightly brighter shirt, it potentially would do better slightly better this is Duchamp Duchamp and I think this one is a size 15 and a half so 15 and a half inch collar it's got the double cuffs on it as well I thought that was quite nice so I'm going to see what I paid for that paid £4.99 Okay, moving on now to what I would class as the bolo list. So this is 10 items that, in my opinion, are really good ones to keep an eye out for. Uh, you might have heard of these brands before, you might not have, but they're definitely ones to just keep in the back of your mind. First one, which is a pair of jeans, and these are a pair of, oh, you can see them, a pair of diesel jeans. So diesel traditionally do really well. Um, now, the key thing to look out for diesel and the ones that actually do like, command a bit more money is if they've got this tag on there. Uh, you can research the actual name of it and that will like give you an indication of actually what the value of it is. Also, to double check which is the lining, make sure if it's actually a selvage. So these ones aren't. But if you actually find that they're made in Italy and they're um, salvage, they do like command more. But that being said, I would have thought these should be close to like the £30 mark and paid £4. So that's the first one. Next, we've got a shirt. Fairly standard blue shirt, this one. But this one is by Ralph Lauren but it's the denim and supply. Size medium. Doesn't have to be particularly leery on these ones. It's good quality, 100% cotton on it as well. Which, yeah, that should do well. Next we have a, a gilet, a gilet. This is probably one of my favorite pickups of the whole day today, actually. So this is a North Face duck down. So it's a duck down and duck feather lined one. And it is the 700 as well. So I think these are like the Nupsy. Uh, I've done my checks to make sure that it's all genuine. And the bits to look out for on this one, tags wise, so you need to make sure it's got all of these like tags in there. So there's loads of tags, but also it should have as well at the back, a holographic bit on there as well, which this actually has. Looking over it, it looks in really, really like good condition. Um, so blue and navy, the only thing I can spot that's any kind of like damage at all. There's a couple of these little stitching has come off just on near the pocket. Apart from that, that is a really, really good pickup and paid six pounds. So really, really pleased with that one. I'll try and put comps up to, um, on how much I think it's gonna be worth. Right, we have a, another jumper, but this is a really lightweight, lightweight one. Right, so it's a pocket jumper. So it's got a pocket just on the, uh, the breast. Long sleeve, lightweight, and the brand 
to be looking out for is this one, Sunspell. It's a really good size. It's an XL as well. And let's have a quick look at 100% cotton. Yeah, these, like the brands, this brand is like very, very expensive. So without a doubt, like something to like keep an eye out on this. Price on that one paid £3.50. Really good one, that one. Right, we've already like spoken a little bit, well, I've already spoken a bit about the um, WWE ones. Now, I nearly didn't pick this one up. Right, so this one is, a, this feels a lot more vintage. Um, I will do my comps and checks and everything on it, but on the back, as you can see, on there. Um, this one, I actually went out of the shop because I didn't have any reception. I just checked it up and I've seen this particular one go for anything up to, I think, £40. So definitely worth, I uh, think. So I actually went back to like, pick it up and paid £5 for it. Uh, not load sold, but it's probably, I would have thought that may well go to America. So you use like um, eBay's global shipping. Right, we have next, which is a pair of jeans. So nothing particularly like or too special. It's a pair of Levi's. Uh, the reason I kind of picked these ones up, um, and I did pay like a good amount for these ones, was because they are brand new. They're a big size as well. So 42 inch waist with a 30 inch leg. Brand spanking new, still got all the tags. Tags on the front as well, um, paid. $14.99 but if you know the price of Levi 501s brand new I think they're like they're, they're over £100 now so even if I aim for 50 60 70 pounds I think someone's still going to get a bargain so that's I'm not saying all Levi's are good but in that instance I was pleased to pick those ones up all right, then we've got another pair of jeans, a bit smaller this time. So this brand is called Seven for All Mankind. So that's the kind of logo to keep a look out for. Again, stretchy ones on here. So they've got a little bit of give. These are the Ronnie and they are, oh, let's see if I can see. I think they're like a size 32. Um, yeah, these do like traditionally really well for me. So that's another reason why I say like, just keep an eye on something like this brand. Uh, off the top of my head, probably 25 pound-ish. That should like get quite comfortably. All right, then we've got a little bit of vintage. A nice woolly pulley. This is, oh, you see, that one, so it's a collaboration. So we've got Pringle, which is a good stripe brand, but then we've also got this one, which is Nick Faldo. So Nick Faldo and Pringle. This one here is actually 100% um, uh, wool. Having a look over it, it's a little kind of like mark just on here. Looks like it might actually have just been caught slightly, but still worth actually a, a punt paid three pound for that one right last couple on the bolo list this one it's a shirt right so it's got a cut away um, collar on this one but right, the brand on this oh, is called Ede and Ravenscroft they do a lot of legal uh, clothing, for example, gowns. Um, if you go to uh, uh, look at gowns for graduations, Eden Raven Ravencroft, they do like kind of a lot of that as well. So this, again, I don't see it loads, but it's nice when you actually do spot it. So for me, I just spotted that, the first part of it, so Eat, and I instantly knew that that was actually a good brand. So better brand knowledge you have, the easy it is to actually spot these ones. Right, and the last one is a pair of uh, chinos. 
And again, this actually is about spotting the little telltale. So for me, I just like, and I was going through the rack and I saw that little symbol. And that is called J Lindeberg. So these are like a really high end golfing clothes maker. Uh, so yeah, something like this, like it's definitely worth like kind of keep an eye out. So a slim fit on there. Paid a little bit, 750 for that one. But that is that. So that's the 10 bolo list um, at the end. Hopefully it's helpful for you. Hopefully you found it interesting. Again, really appreciate taking the time to watch the video. Please do feel free and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, any messages, let me know as well. But uh, please do enjoy the rest of your week and uh, I will catch you on the next one.